I'm Valerie and it's time once again for a thrift haul. This is going to be a collective haul for stuff I've bought in May and June. Now this haul is just going to be for things that I have bought to keep for myself. I also had really good luck recently with stuff for my Etsy shop which is called Mulberry Grange and if you'd like to see some of the other things that I've been finding lately you can look there and I will put a link in the description. Now this first thing is actually for my nephew. He is three and he is in his planes, trains and automobiles phase. Especially trains. He loves trains. So what should I find but this little kid size engineer hat? Cannot wait to see his face. I had these sort of fake motorcycle boots that I got about five years ago and I wore them enough that the faux leather started to get that kind of shreddy thing going on which even good faux leather does after a while. So I've been looking for a while for a replacement for those boots and I really particularly was looking for leather so that they'd be a little more durable. These boots just really spoke to me even though they're a little shorter. I've actually already worn them several times. They're really they're nice soft leather they are by Eileen Fisher and best of all technically they were free. Good World Rewards coupons? Love you! Uh, I looked her up online her name is Stephanie uh, from this outfit she's actually probably one that came out in 1981. The only thing really wrong of course is that the elastic is stretched out as will happen after 30 years but everything is in place she's got her socks she's got her shoes even her shoes are clean so she has joined my personal doll army. On my dressing room table in my bedroom for a while I've had assorted stuff just gathered in a basket that actually I think we got some flowers in for our wedding but it's a white basket it doesn't really go with the stuff in our room for it. so I've been looking for a new basket or box or something for a while. As you can see $5.99 at Savers which is slightly more than I'd usually pay at a thrift store for something like this but it is pretty much exactly what I needed so I went for it and it was originally from the Bombay company it was $20 there so I can't complain about that. I wasn't gonna buy any more scarves this year and then I saw this it's so pretty with the violets on it and it's just really light that helped to do the costumes for Midsummer Night's Dream that's actually closing this weekend at Green Man Theatre Troupe in Elmhurst and that's why it caught my eye because I was looking for fairy things but I actually found this and it's for me in all of my fairy queenness. You may have already noticed in my previous video my love for tights so these are actually brand new they were still in their target packaging. I just love these they're like a capri length pajama bottoms they're just wonderful light cotton but what I love is the hem has a sort of it's almost, it's almost like a pillowcase kind of a thing where it's got the, the contrast and the little little satin there and the little uh, embroidery. So I just thought those were cute. Real April Cornell dress, $2.62. Um, I did not notice until after I bought it, uh, somewhere along the back seam here, there's a place where the fabric is a little bit weakened and frayed at the seam here that I'm going to need to take it in a little bit and it looks like it actually was already taken in by a previous owner but it's a large so it's got room for me to take it in a little bit more so I'll do a little bit of repair on that seam and then it'll be ready to go and April Cornell I love it's a brand that um, you see a lot in the Victorian Trading Company catalog and it's just got that sort of vintage feel to it this jumper I actually initially picked up it was going to be for my Etsy shop and the more I looked at it the more I thought you know I think I'm going to keep this for me. It's just got a really unusual print to it the color patterns. Oh the sunbonnet. I couldn't resist this. This is another one of those things that I don't know if I really need this but it's 99 cents and whoever made it uh, stiffen the brim with paper which I didn't realize before I washed it so it's a little odd right now because it's kind of got paper bunched up in it so I do need to take the seam out of the brim put in some real interfacing so it can be washed and then I've got myself a nice sunbonnet. You know that's just a fun sort of quasi historical piece to have when you want to just throw something together and finally 
this was my big luck out of recent times because we have not just this pretty top layer robe sort of robe or duster sort of thing but sleeveless and what's great about this is a nightgown and a robe or take these layers put them together with some other stuff with some pretty tights and lace up boots or Mary Janes and the right accessories and you have a great little Mori girl coordinate. Mori K and Natural K are both uh, styles that I borrow a lot from that feel a lot like things that I wear anyway and so I'm kind of excited to see what I can do with this. Oh! I almost forgot! As you saw in my last haul I kind of went a little t-shirt crazy in April and I thought I was done with that. I have had a lot of t-shirts with tree prints on them jump out at me lately on Pinterest or uh, coming up in my recommendations on Etsy and oh I would love to have a t-shirt with a nice tree on it and like right as I was thinking that this happened to pop up. It's just so cute. It says just act natural. It goes great with this brown skirt that I've had for a while. So. That's the haul. It's not a huge haul because like I said, I haven't been buying, looking for a lot of stuff for myself lately. I'm pretty happy with where my summer clothes are. So let me know any of these finds that you wish that you had found. What have you found lately? What's been your favorite thing? Please let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, click that like button. Want to see more? Please subscribe. All that good stuff that keeps YouTube a going. And until next time, bye-bye.